The Switch Lite is an amazing console. So much so that I have made a myriad of videos talking about it by this point, about different things like how many accessories you can get for it, the best ones on the market, also talking about just how good of a console it is in general, and comparing it to the original Nintendo Switch to see which one you should get versus the other. Well, this time, I wanted to take things even further and I wanted to test the limits and the strengths of the Nintendo Switch Lite even more to, let's say, an extent where a lot of Road Warriors might actually appreciate. So in this case, I decided to make a little challenge for myself and I wanted to see if I could replace all of my gaming gear and content consumption gear, for the exception of my phone at least, since that is pretty much irreplaceable in 2019. I wanted to see if the Nintendo Switch Lite could replace things like my original Nintendo Switch, my tablet, my gaming PC, my laptop, my PS Vita, my 3DS, all of those things. I wanted to see if Switch Lite was good enough to replace all of those things for me, and if it sufficed or if it filled all of the boxes that would be necessary. All of those things that I have, all of them together, cost quite a bit of money. So with that said, is a $200 device enough to replace all of those things all together? This would be a very cool trip. So join me through my day as I use a Nintendo Switch Lite only as my gaming device and my content consumption device. And together, we will be able to determine if this console will be able to replace everything that I own for gaming and watching content. Let's get vlogging and join me through my day with the Nintendo Switch Lite. So we're currently on our way to the park. Well, actually, we might go ahead and grab some food beforehand because we're pretty hungry people. We're gonna have a table. Maybe we can have some quick multiplayer while we eat, like the dirty people that we are. Sure. Yeah, DZ agrees. So with that said, yeah, we're just gonna be on our way. Enjoy this montage of footage from the trip. Okay, so right now I'm playing a quick game of Dragon Ball Fighters. It is just against the CPU, but that's fine. Very easy to do on this console. Can't do this with the PC now, can ya? Haha! <laughs> yeah, the screen is definitely good enough for this sort of thing. I know that it's not showing up all that well on camera, just how visible it is. Normally, with something like this, if it's too bright outside, it might actually keep you from seeing the screen properly, but on my end, it actually looks really good. Barely distorted at all. Now, granted, I am playing at max brightness. Well, I suppose this little recording pulls as proof that I'm actually not very good at this game, despite how much I like it. Right now we're looking for Burger King. Should I get some food? We might eat there, we might take it to the park. Should we actually eat, eat and play like animals? Meh. Nah. No? Okay, we won't be doing that. Sorry. time you travel, it's been Burger King. I'm not complaining, but I'm also not celebrating it. Okay, so we're almost at the park. We're just trying to find parking right now. It has been fairly difficult considering that it is a Sunday, it is very nice out, and it is Prospect Park. It is just ridiculous to find parking around here. Maybe we should have just taken the train. What do you think? Oh, it would have been more convenient, but also would have taken longer. We would have had to get up early. I don't, I don't sleep. I need that. It also means I wouldn't have had my personal chauffeur here. So, it's true. Not worth it. Not worth it. Yeah, I'm very glad we drove. Did you have your morning coffee? I'm sorry. Did you have your morning coffee? Uh, I did not have coffee this morning, actually. Ah, yeah, you've been fine. Yeah. What? No, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, dying. Sorry. What do you? Hey, what, what do you mean? What did you drink then? Well, look, there is cereal, uh -huh. and no one has made the coffee already. I'm eating the cereal. I don't, I don't understand why you can't have both cereal and coffee. I cannot have them both at the same time, it's just... Oh. That's that's why you do one, and then you do the other. It's I, a two-step process. I'm not sure if I can have one after the other. Mm. So, yeah. I, right. uh, I see. Small stomach. I get that. See it here? I can fit here! Nice! I can freaking squeeze in here! Nice! Ah. Buying parking is going to be most of our day. New York, That's exciting. Man. New York. Yeah. Here we go. What about there? Can I fit there? No, it's a pump! Crosswalk? Mm -hmm. That's a bus stop? I mean, like, why don't we just cut off the bus, the bus anywhere? 
Because I can get a ticket. Well, it's, it's only one ticket. Yo, man, I swear to God, if tickets weren't a thing, no one would follow the law. Huh? Is that parking? Maybe. Is that parking? Could oh. possibly be. Oh my gosh. Oh ho ho! It fits! Yeah! There we go! Oh, there let me not go. hit this Audi because I know that man will kill me. <laughs> Great. Okay, nice. We're finally here. I get to get out and actually play with the Switch Lite. How exciting! Let's go! Sorry, I've been over. I've been listening, and it's interesting what you're talking about. Because, oh. uh, you see, I think we need to, we, the people of the world, the regular, normal people instead of the monsters, you know, we've got to start sharing our ideas and, and believe, believing. This is, the revolution is right here, and that's where it all comes. It's we believe what, that we have a role in whatever it is, and you have some notion about this process, which actually, you see, what we're learning, what got me really interested, we, are, we have been presented for thousands of years with ourselves as being extras in their movie. I can read your tea, oh, and tea leaves. Oh, by the way, tea leaves are the same thing. You, you do with tea leaves, and so if you have a story, and that's what all astrology and, and, and right now, the Aryan mythology, which, yeah, which now, I'll just, really interesting, these guys are the most cunning linguists of of all time. And we have the chance to sit down after doing some shooting. Go ahead and play myself again. Okay, Fighters actually sounds like fun. Let's do something a little more chill. Starting off a game of Final Fantasy VIII. It, it, oh, granted, it still looks really old despite it being remastered. Exact same aspect ratio and all that. Wish that had changed, but for the Switch fight, it's really no big deal to run them. That's another thing. Sometimes these battles can get really grating. Because the game is so old. But luckily for this version, they, they allow you to just press down on L3. And then it just beats the whole thing out by 3. I think it's I think it's a pretty fair like version if you're going for a light version. It's like all the benefits of the switch without any of the heavy lifting. It's there's no crease to separate the switch from the from the main screen. It, you know what it feels like? It feels like um it feels like the DS Lite when it first came out. You know, and now we have like the DSi or the uh, the freaking 3DS and all that. It's like uh, it's like a really less more basic. That's all it is. I wouldn't I wouldn't call it streamlined. I'd, I'd just say it's more basic. I think. I think I'm just as bad as this game, like, as, as I am on the regular Switch. It gives the same feel of controls, like, the panning is just the same, the movements are just the same. Buttons, I don't, I don't feel like it's any less clicky, it, it feels just the same as the Switch. It, it just feels more, uh, cohesive, I guess, it's, it's a single piece. So there's no feeling like, uh, it might slip or, or come apart in your hands. I don't really get that with the Switch, but it's, it's more like, you know, it's a possibility. You can do it. it. It would be an accident. You'd have to really distract it to do it, I guess. But it's it's always a possibility. With this, it's kind of like you know, it's solid. It's there. So one of the games I would miss the most going away from my PC would have to be Skyrim. And you can actually take this on the go now, not just on the laptop or anything like that. So one of the things that I really like most about this is pretty much just that you do get the full Skyrim experience. And this is a special edition, so you're not even getting the older version, you're getting the most recent one. And that, I think, is really cool. So just being able to play such a full-fledged game on the go is something that definitely means quite a lot to me. And this game is infinite. You can do so many things here. Right now, I'm playing as a Breton, a thief Breton, that's now trying to double up as a mage, which is really cool. 
Not a lot of games really give you that kind of flexibility, at least not in the way that Skyrim does. I can go ahead and rave all day long about how much I love Skyrim, but just the fact that I can take this on the go with me on such a tiny screen with such great controls and this little grip here is just really good. Now another thing that you will be missing out if you're playing this version of Skyrim, the only thing really is just the fact that you don't have any mods, which might actually make the game for some people. I'm not somebody that necessarily did a ton of modding, so just having it here on a handheld device means more to me than being able to mod it. Though who knows, maybe that's something I'll get into eventually. Maybe I just haven't tasted the real modding scene yet. And the game looks great on this tiny screen. Trying to compare this with the one on the larger Switch, even though, I, yes, I am still playing at 720p, it's not 1440p like it is on my monitor at home, or 1080p on my TV at home, but either way, this game looks beautiful, regardless of the circumstances. Who would have thought that Skyrim would ever be on, on a device this size? So, I'm very impressed. This helps a lot in making this a full PC replacement to me, but it does depend on what kinds of games you're playing. Though there are definitely many more to test out that are cross-platform, or even just exclusives that make the Switch such a special device. And yeah, as usual, as I always with Skyrim, you will lose your partner all of the time. If you so now we're just going to try it to multiplayer since it's getting dark, just to try to settle in. And for that I've got this little kickstand here. Just gonna set this down. It's also there to power the, the switch, and while the switch isn't necessarily long battery, I'd rather conserve it for as long as I can. So in order to make that possible, can't plug this in anywhere else except the battery bank. So quickly, just going to plug in a USB-C cable to it. I'm gonna set the switch down, and so you can just plug in some Joy-Cons and play. I thought that I was right, but I wasn't what you needed. So now these are already split into two separate controllers. What do you want to play? You want to play Mario Kart? Definitely. Okay. Was it Nintendo 64? Huh? Nintendo 64 Mario Kart? Nintendo? No. It's uh, the SNES. It's before the 64. Oh man, what? Yeah. Jesus. Crazy, eh? Yeah. Okay, so we're finally back in the car. It was a long walk all the way back. Yeah, it's a very long walk. So now we're actually gonna finally ride back somewhere where there's some refuge where we can play it safely. We're testing out if the Switch is adequate enough to replace a PC. So far, it's doing really good considering the kinds of games I've been able to play on it. Looking forward to the rest. Whew, okay. Everybody, I'm finally back at the studio. Nicholas went back home. Good for him. But anyway, now that I'm back here, I would like to take some time to just relax before I get back to start working. So, what I'm gonna do now, since I don't probably want to play in handheld mode at the moment, I think I'm probably just gonna want to set the switch down and maybe just play from the couch while laying down. Not necessarily having to hold anything up like crazy. At the park, we actually went into playing with split Joy-Cons, we were playing Mario Kart, but now I think I want to play some God Eater. Go. Even if it's not like a huge screen, it's so really nice to have. And God Eater is a pleasure to play on this stuff, whether it is on handheld or even like this. This little makeshift tabletop mode. You can't do this organically, which is your doing Nintendo Switch. You do need extra accessories like this little charging stand I have here. But once you get that going, it's a fantastic experience, and I actually really like playing games like this, especially when I'm on the go. Have some downtime, like maybe in school or something like that, or maybe at work, or even here at the studio or at home. It's just really nice to have this sort of thing, this kind of option. And yeah, playing games and all is always very fun, but I've been doing that all day pretty much when I haven't had to do some kind of work. So for a moment, I would just like to sit back, maybe watch some videos. Luckily, the Nintendo Switch Lite, that's something I can still do very efficiently. So right now, I'm kind of in a mood to just go on YouTube, so I'm just, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Try to see if I can use it as a tablet and just lay back and chill out for a bit. And so far it has been doing a very good job. Obviously there's some devices that I can't replace like my phone, so I couldn't leave that behind. That immediately would be a loss for it, but it's okay otherwise. It does pretty much everything else I would need it to do or want it to do. A smaller camera specifically for the vlogging kinds of shots that can just fit in my bag, since my G7 is a little bit large for that sort of thing. Okay, I've definitely heard a lot of great things about the Panasonic Lumix G7. So let's see, what is one that might be specifically catered? Oh, here it is. This video is 
by the everyday dad. I watch his channel pretty often. The Panasonic LX10, a portable video studio. Let's check it out. So, so far, I really do have to say that the Nintendo Switch Lite is doing a really amazing job at replacing everything that I own, pretty much. With the exception of some things, of course, it can't replace absolutely everything for every particular reason. But if I'm just replacing things for gaming or even content consumption to an extent, like the Switch Lite actually does a really good job at just that. I'm definitely really happy, and with this little guy, something this small that can do so many things, that can handle so many crazy games, you have to be proud of that sort of thing. It's definitely a great thing to own one of these, and I'm very happy to be an owner of it. Okay, so now that I'm finally back from my whole day, I think it is important to acknowledge that I have now had more than enough time to look through all of that stuff that I went through today and to collect my thoughts. With that said, I have to say that the Nintendo Switch Lite probably isn't sufficient enough to be a full replacement for everything. And here's what I mean. No matter what, I cannot compensate for the lack of me not being able to connect this to a larger screen. The larger screen that you can play the Nintendo Switch Lite with is the screen that it comes with. The original Nintendo Switch, you can dock to a TV, any laptop, most laptops at least, you can connect to an external display, a TV or monitor. My desktop works with any size display that you would want it to. My tablet to an extent, you could also connect that to an external display. So in essence, it can't really be a full desktop replacement or home console replacement and that is worth acknowledging because of that one missing feature. And another thing is that you do need other accessories in order to make the Nintendo Switch Lite a decent enough replacement to replace all the things that I mentioned, such as all of my gaming consoles and my tablet. This by itself probably couldn't get the job done alone, so you will have to rely on some of those. Because, quite frankly, on its own, this is just a very good handheld and a glorified tablet with very few apps for constant consumption. Those were just all of the negatives about the setup and what I've noticed throughout the day. I should be able to share with you my full thoughts. So here we go. And everything that I just mentioned is not to take away from how impressed I actually was with the Nintendo Switch Lite and what it was able to accomplish throughout the day, considering that this is just such a tiny device. I have mentioned that throughout so many of the videos that I have made about this device by now, but I do have to say that it has me impressed up to this day. For example, as a full handheld device, the fact that the screen on this guy is so bright, and despite it being a glossy display, even if it's very bright outside or very sunny, it is not going to intrude or disrupt your gaming experience, or it's not going to affect the way that you're able to play this at all by any means. You won't have to play around with the angles just to get the right one under those circumstances because the screen is bright enough to support that, despite how bright it could be. And today, for example, was incredibly bright outside. And even though the camera, as you might have been able to tell, definitely captured a lot of that light, and on camera didn't necessarily show the screen all that well, I can guarantee you that the screen was crystal clear to me while I was playing in there. And it was incredibly bright. I was very happy with it in that aspect, and it can very easily replace my other handhelds in that regard, including the original Nintendo Switch, which actually doesn't fare as well outdoors in comparison to this one. There are only two streaming apps on this device, and that's Hulu and YouTube, at least from the ones that actually matter. So with that said, that means that luckily, because I mostly just watch a ton of YouTube throughout the day, it isn't very frequent that I want to watch something on Netflix, something on HBO, but that feeling, that thought did come across throughout the day. And knowing that I couldn't do that at all with the Nintendo Switch Lite was a bit of a downfall. It reminded me of how limited it is app-wise. It doesn't have a very good ecosystem of streaming apps for it, and that is a disappointment. So in essence, it could somewhat replace my PS4 when it comes to games, because you can still play a lot of those games here, thanks to all the many ports I have been coming here to the Nintendo Switch Lite, and I have definitely been appreciating that, like God Eater 3, Skyrim, and that sort of thing. However, my PS4 has access to all of those streaming apps, all of them pretty much, any that you could want, including my PC, obviously, since you could browse for them, but this console lacks a web browser and it lacks the majority of those apps. Unless you're just watching YouTube or Hulu, this, is, this will not be a good replacement as a tablet for you in that regard, and that is definitely worth noting. And well, yeah, you can't get special features on the Switch like ray tracing or deep learning super sampling like you would on my PC, for example, but that's perfectly okay. While it still did an adequate job as a tablet, 
Quite frankly, watching YouTube on this was still a really good experience. The apps at work work really well here and I really appreciate it. The speakers are loud enough that you don't have to rely on a headset just to get decent audio or be able to listen to things and properly. So that is another thing to consider. And as a gaming device, this is fantastic. Being able to play AAA games like Skyrim and God Eater 3 and games like that on here is definitely a huge accomplishment. And this is a lot smaller than the original Nintendo Switch. So it is worth acknowledging that this works very effectively. This on its own is an incomplete system and it cannot compete against Android and PC when it comes to content consumption. That is for sure, unless you just use YouTube or Hulu. However, as a full replacement, if you are very frugal with your use, tell yourself, agree to yourself that you would only like to limit yourself to YouTube and or Hulu, and that all the games available on the, on the Nintendo Switch are more than enough to suffice for you, then this device is very much more than adequate to replacing all of your other things on the go. Because if you did keep your usage to that limit, and it's not even that crazy per se, you would be able to get the absolute most out of this console and it would be a very good replacement for you. It's not the best replacement for me. So I would not use this console to replace all of my other gear, unfortunately. But it might work for you under those circumstances. If you keep your usage frugal, this is the guy you want. And so, if you are interested in buying anything that I mentioned in this video, such as the Switch Lite, maybe the original Nintendo Switch, things like that, or some of the games that I played, I will make sure to be leaving affiliate links to Amazon in the description so you can check those out. If you decide to make a purchase using any of our links, then we do get a small commission that does help us run things a little more smoothly around here. So if you were to use those, we would really appreciate it. Also, we just launched a Patreon, as a matter of fact. You can join our Patreon for as little as $5 and be able to get access to the Discord with that monthly subscription. But if you just wanted to support us normally, then you can just support us with just $1 a month and that would be just fine. But that said, I will be leaving the Patreon linked below. So make sure to check that out if you can. This was a really fun video to make, and I definitely look forward to making more vlog style videos like this one in the future. This has been Francisco from Tech Summit. Thank you for watching, and I'll be seeing you all later. Enjoy.